is going on, everyone? Today, we are finally taking a look at the much-awaited Logi Dock. In this video, of course, we'll be unboxing the dock, taking a look at what's included, doing a device overview, taking a look at all the ports on the back, how to set it up on your desktop, because the aim here is to declutter your desktop and streamline that whole setup that you've got in your professional work environment while implementing a professional certified for Microsoft Teams speakerphone solution. And then of course we'll demo using it in a Microsoft Teams meeting as well. Before we get to all that, quick reminder, if you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, handy link below, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so that you stay in the know, and then hit that like button below if you like the video. And even if you don't like the video, I'll still take a like if you wanna throw one down there, just saying. With that, let's get to the content. Okay, before we start getting everything out of the box, let's flip it up on its side right here. Little note down here at the bottom, we do have that certified for Microsoft Teams stamp. And you do have a little circular sticker on the bottom to keep the box sealed. You wanna slice that open with some sort of little blade. Once you do, the front will just lift up. And of course, like we've seen with a lot of other packaging, especially from Logi, but other OEMs as well lately, we've got our getting started, our little how-to guide right up top underneath the lid of the box. We can see that if we wanna get more support, more information, we'd go out to logitech.com slash support slash logidoc. And to manage the device, to apply firmware updates, you can go to logitech.com slash tune. We will be using Logitune to make sure we are uh, at full, the, the latest firmware version, and that we can take a look at the settings involved here. But we get a little bit of an overview. We're gonna be plugging this thing into power. We're gonna plug it into our laptop. We'll have that one cable going from the laptop to the dock via USB-C, lightning port for charging. And then we've got a little bit of a how-to down here on how to use the buttons up front for Microsoft Teams, incoming calls, muting. We've got Bluetooth pairing capability. Uh, we'll go over some of this, but I just want you to know this is where you're going to take a look for that where to get started. And please note up top, we can toggle on and off, not just mute, but mute for video. And that does integrate to Microsoft Teams, which is super awesome. And the ambient lighting down below will let us know that a Microsoft Teams meeting is ready for us. So that's a little bit of the how-to. Let's dig into the device. One last little bit of instructions they printed on the box here. We can see that, you know, in order to do the calendar integration so that we get the ambient lighting for upcoming meetings, you do need to get the Tune application and connect to that calendar service in Tune so that that integration is in place. As you may have guessed, our dock is sitting right up top here, wrapped in this paper. So we lift it on out, had a little bit of uh, tape holding it in place, tear that tape, remove our paper, and there it is, our first look at the Logi dock. With the dock removed, you'll notice we've got these little tabs on the sides that kind of pull out. They have arrows pointing up. We will use that to lift out the centerpiece. With that center molding removed, that was just there to kind of keep the Logi dock in place. You'll see we've got our cabling down below, power cable, color-coded USB-C cable that we will connect our laptop to every day for powering the laptop and connecting into all the other peripherals. And of course, our power brick. Last, and I wanna say not least, though I'm sure many of us think this is probably the least part of any device packaging, we've got the safety, compliance, and warranty information sitting at the bottom. With all the contents removed from the box, once again, the Logi Dock itself, the USB-C cable with the color-coded purple end that we will connect to the purple spot on the back of the device, here for charging and connecting your laptop, the power brick, and our power cable. In addition to being a docking station built towards decluttering and freeing up space on your desk, the Logidoc is certified as a speakerphone for Microsoft Teams and other leading collaboration platforms. It features six beamforming microphones and provides the ability to seamlessly switch between speakerphone and earbuds or headset through wireless Bluetooth connectivity. With the Zone True wireless earbuds or the Zone wireless headset, you can simply activate them, put them into your ears, or turn on the device, and the Logi Dock will seamlessly switch if they are connected via Bluetooth. With all the ports at the back of the device, the Logi Dock is designed to keep your desktop free and clear of all other cables and wires by routing them out the back of your desktop. 
The bottom of the device features two rubber strips giving you grip to the desktop surface so that the Logi Dock is not sliding around on the desktop. Coming up to the top of the device, you see our touch controls with volume down and up off to the side here, our answer and hang up call button, as well as join scheduled meeting button. You see the Microsoft Teams logo on this particular model. So when we have a ambient lighting below telling us that we have a meeting waiting for us, we can one touch join or one touch answer with that center button. On the side, you'll notice we have mute for audio and mute for video. This allows us to use this button to turn our video off in a Microsoft Teams meeting with a simple tap. And when we're ready to turn it back on, simply tap it again. No fussing with any of the controls on the actual meeting client. Setup is pretty simple. We'll take the power cable. We'll plug it into our power brick. Coming around to the back of the Logi Dock, we'll take that power cable and plug it into the power slot right there at the bottom. And we see that we've got a little purple color-coded slot right here, says USB-C, has a picture of our laptop, and we've got the purple USB cable, USB-C cable right here. That'll connect in. Now, other things to point out on the back of the device. We have a Kensington lock slot. We've got a Bluetooth button here to allow us to pair other Bluetooth devices. We've got two USB-A slots right here, one with our lightning symbol. We've got an HDMI port and a display port. So we can have two displays connected at one time, up to 4K resolution as supported. And then we've got two USB-C ports on the uh, far left side of the back of the device. Coming around to the side of the device, you'll notice we've got one more USB-C lightning port here. Maybe we wanna hang a little charger off the side for our uh, mobile phone or some other device we wanna charge at the table. Okay, to get our Logi dock set up at our desktop, you can see that this is already looking at pretty clean and clear because a lot of the cables that may be on the table have kind of been removed in preparation for setting up the Logi dock. Now, we're gonna connect all that at the back. We've got both monitors back there, both webcams, the Logitech Brio 505 and the Logitech Brio. They'll both be plugged in. We've got a unifying receiver for our MX Master 3 down here, and we've got an MX Keys right down here as well that will be attached via Bluetooth. And uh, and then that's the laptop at the back that we'll be connecting in and being the uh, the, the brains for the operation. But Logidoc is there ready to go. Let's go ahead and get things plugged in. And with everything plugged in, let's get the device turned around so that we can see what it looks like as everything is uh, tucked as where it should be and cables are not showing. All right, with everything plugged in on our Logi Dock and it flipped around, you can see all our cables are removed from the desktop. I've used a little mesh cable uh, corraller is what I'm gonna call it because I can't think of the right name to hold all the cables together and tuck them into the hole in the desk that goes down there. Now we just need to take that USB-C cable uh, that comes out the back and this is the single loan cable that will connect to our laptop and we will then be in business, bringing all of our peripherals in the, in the room, or on the desk, the, the displays, the cameras, etc., into the laptop through the dock. So with the USB-C plugged in, you can see that we've got uh, the Logi dock coming to life. As we come in for a little bit of a closer look, you can see we've got a, uh, a little purple light right up here, a little bluish purple light by the Teams answer button. And if we come on out, you will see that we've got this Alienware laptop connected in to both displays. They are both reflecting uh, the same desktop there. And we've got the two, uh, the Logitech Brio and the Brio 505 all connected in to the laptop, including our MX Keys and the MX Master 3 Logitech mice and keyboard, all part of this one system, connected in through the Logi Dock, cleaning up our desktop, and uh, bringing it into one uniform experience. Let's take a look at this thing within Logi Tune. All right, so we are on our laptop here. You can see we've got the Logi Tune software open, and just of note, I am using the Logitech Brio as my camera to record this video or this segment anyway. And I'm also using the Brio's built-in microphones for the audio that we're recording. So 
Uh, keep the audio in mind. Not that it's a direct comparison with the uh, with the Logi Dock, but we're going to be uh, recording audio through the Logi Dock a little bit later on. So I wanted to kind of give a reference point or a comparison point. Uh, but we can see with Logi Dock op uh, Logi Tune open, we've got the dock showing up because we are connected. We have an update available. So we'll click on that. We get our update notes, our firmware notes about all this. Um, I want to note that while we can manage firmware and settings within Logitune, you can also, within an enterprise, then connect Logitech Sync on top of that to manage the devices centrally within your IT organization. Let's go ahead and say continue here. We'll let the Logidoc go through its updating process, and we'll come back to looking at its settings. All right, our update has completed. We'll go ahead and click done there. Uh, we can see firmware is now up to date. This is where you would do a check on updates and a factory reset. Clicking on more details, we get our app versions and all that fun stuff right here. And a little copy to clipboard button in case we need that for support purposes. Going back out to the dock settings, on the equalizer, we're set to default, but you can customize your base, uh, treble, all that fun stuff. We've got equalizer presets, and we're going to keep it on default, but as you can see, we've got a podcast, a bass boost, and a custom preset that you can use as well. Mic level, we're at 51% right now. I'm going to leave that there. I'm uh, talking, and you can see it picking up my voice. It's seeming to stay right kind of in the middle there, so I think 51 is a good level to keep it at. Device name, Logidoc is going to be pretty... Uh, it's going to be good enough for my use case. If you had many of these within your organization, they may have individual names or something different. And then high speed USB 3.0. Uh, disabling this can improve our refresh rates in some configurations. I'm not going to go into all that. There are times where you may want to disable that. For now, I think we're good to go on, on our refresh rates and the configuration we've got. And then sound diagnostics. So we'll go ahead and say run now. It's asking if I hear the ringtone. I'm going to say yes. And now we're going to test the mic. Hello, I am testing the Logidoc mic. Hello, I am testing the Logidoc mic. I did indeed hear Hello, that. I am testing the lot. So we'll say yes. Uh, microphone and speaker and connectivity tests are good to go. Soft phone. So now it says to go into app settings and confirm speaker and microphone are both set to Logi Doc. So in Microsoft Teams, we would want to go into our app settings and set those, which we will do before our Teams demonstration. And that's it for the settings. Okay, to make sure that Microsoft Teams is using the Logi Doc as the default speakers and microphone, you're actually going to come up into your client, click on the three dots right here, go over to settings. And then you would go down to devices. And in this audio devices window is where you will choose the Logi Dock, ensuring that the speaker and microphone section both have the Logi Dock captured. Okay, demo number one, we've got our Logi Dock right there. We've got the Microsoft Teams button in the center. It does have an LED lit up indicating that it is aware of the presence of the Microsoft Teams client on our desktop. We see that we've got the Teams client open at the bottom here, uh, but it's not brought up on the forefront of our screen. So like other certified for Teams devices, we can simply click the Microsoft Teams button on our dock, and it will bring the Microsoft Teams client up on our screen. All right, next Microsoft Teams demo is going to be using the Logi dock in a call. So right now we've got our brand new Microsoft Teams meeting window up. We're just doing a meet now. You can see that we've got the Logidoc selected as our audio device. But going over to our device settings, Logidoc is called out as our speaker. It is called out as our microphone. And it is, uh, and we do have the Brio 505 uh, Logitech's, one of Logitech's newer webcams. Uh, chosen as our video source for the meeting because I'm using my Logitech Brio to record uh, the this, this video segment itself and capture the screen. So with all of our device settings in place, we'll go ahead and say join now. Down at the bottom of the screen here, we've got that ambient lighting letting us know that we are in a call actively currently and we are not muted.
Now, we'll see at the very top of the screen, we've got our camera and our mic controls. I'm going to leave the mouse down here. I'm not going to touch those controls with my mouse. I Well, yet, anyway. We are first going to reach up, and we will mute ourselves. And when we do that, you'll notice our ambient lighting shows a red light underneath the mute button. So we have not just an indicator visually that we are muted, but specifically that we are muted for our audio. Now on the screen, you see we're muted in the client. Now we can also click the mute button for our camera. And with just one touch, we are turned off on the screen. The camera shows that it is muted. And we've got a second red light on our ambient lighting showing that we are now muted at the camera and uh, audio levels. What we can now do is back on the screen, if I turn the camera back on, it will correspond with the dock. The dock takes away that red light. Camera is back on. I can toggle that on or off with just the Logi dock, or we can you go back and forth using the client and the Logi dock, and same thing with the audio. So full integration between audio and video mute buttons on the Logi dock itself. Now the dock can also be used to answer an incoming call by simply uh, tapping that phone or Teams button, or if you want to uh, reject the call, you would just do a, a longer press and it would reject that incoming call. When you're already in a meeting, if you tap that center button, that will go ahead and uh, end the meeting. So last bit of Teams integration that we're going to show in this video, we tap the button and it ends our call on the screen. Now that we've got the Microsoft Teams integration down, Let's do a quick demo of what it sounds like to actually record our audio through the Logi Dock. So we're using the microphones right now. That is what you are hearing is me speaking through the built-in six microphone beamforming array that is on the Logi Dock. That's what audio you hear right now. I am going to, on my screen, switch over to my desktop and it gets a little crazy in OBS here. But I'm going to pull up the audio uh, settings and you can see that right now we are recording and I do have in my audio input down here in the and uh, the sources that we're using. We are actually using the Logi Doc. So uh, no trickery. Logi Doc is being used even on the secondary scene uh, that has us uh, using Logi Doc as well. So in both cases. You are hearing this audio as I speak it through the Logi Doc. So there you go. A uh, little brief demo of how audio sounds to a user on the far end through the Logi Doc as the person in the room speaks to the microphone. And the last demo, really not a functionality demo at all. Instead, we are demoing the finished product of the workspace. Logi Doc front and center, bringing two monitors into our laptop up to 4K resolution each through a single cable, powering the laptop, and tying in all of our other peripherals into that one space. I've got two webcams tied in. We've got a keyboard, mice, all connected into the back of this device, giving a nice, decluttered, clear, cable-free appearance to our desktop, a much more enjoyable workspace. And with that, I thank you for tuning in and watching this video. If you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button below. Turn on notifications so that you stay in the know about the latest with Team Certified Devices and other devices too. Don't forget to hit the like button as well and splash this video all over your social media accounts. Thanks again for watching and I hope we'll see you back here for the next device overview video.